Okay. Um, so, uh, so let's look at one industry that they want to uh, socialize. Uh, let's say, for instance, healthcare. Um, <clears throat> as an industry, healthcare would represent one square. Um, so, once the supply and demand of this square starts to exceed the optimal amount, um, then to continue to feed that square, uh, demand and ultimately level supplied uh, must be taken away from other squares. Um, and mind you again, all squares are necessary to society uh, and economic function. Um, <clears throat> so an example of this for uh, healthcare uh, would be, say that uh, more people are in the healthcare system or uh, like needing healthcare services, um, like more than they naturally would, would be given like normal uh, levels of supply and demand. Um, <clears throat> so this would, uh, this would increase the demand for healthcare. Um, which would provide opportunities to supply more of it. Um, however, as I like alluded to before, uh, this is not without effect. Um, <clears throat> at a certain point, the healthcare square uh, expansion can only be sustained by taking away from other squares. Um, for instance, like the military, um, like requires everyone to be physically fit to a certain standard. Uh, like for instance, even um, even in like non-combat positions, like you can't be uh, disabled or even like like chronically ill in a certain capacity. Like uh, you wouldn't meet the standard, then like you couldn't be part of the military. Um, <clears throat> so uh, if there's like an extra or like like a outside of the like natural level of illness, um, like in society, I guess, like then this will this would like supply the healthcare system, so to speak. Um, but uh, like if it's more than the natural levels, like it'll supply it past what's optimal. Um, and in order to sustain that level of supply, resources must be taken away from uh, other squares, like such as the military square, um, which requires the healthy adults to participate. Um, so like likewise, uh, anywhere in like the labor industry, um, utilization of healthcare would take away from like work productivity. Um, I guess unless like, I don't know, maybe Maybe like you're like working for like you're at the doctor, but you're like working remotely. But that that would be kind of like an like an extraneous situation, and it's not like really the common. Um, but so I guess like aside from something like that, let's just assume that if you're in the doctor's office, then like you're not working. Um, so it would be like a trade-off where it would take away from work productivity. Um, but as I point out before, like obviously within spectrum levels, like this is tolerable because like every square has a certain amount of like participation patient rates. Um, and like, sorry, somebody was yelling out there. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so there's a certain amount of like, uh, uh, given the amount of people in society and the amount of resources that we need, like every necessary square has a certain amount of participation automatically. Um, and if each square does its job and its function, um, then everything will, op will, um, operate optimally. Um, so, so anyway, so it's tolerable within spectrum levels. However, uh, once the supply and demand of the healthcare square gets like big enough, so to speak, um, then it would snuff out participants of the labor uh, force square all altogether. Um, at which point, uh, you know, like say they would no longer be working um, due to being disabled. Um, and this is bad for the economy, obviously, for like two reasons. Um, one, the human capital square is being diminished. And um, especially since it's like the labor market, um, this actually diminishes the overall size of your like ball of glue because um, it affects like GDP output like directly. Um, <clears throat> so, okay, so these are examples of how expansion of one square past what is optimal uh, requires like a disproportionate trade-off uh, where something must be taken away from another square uh, or other squares to feed that expansion. Um, okay, stay tuned. I'm going to go uh, with the next part in uh, part four.